So I'm sure you all know what StockX is. You know, they sell dead stock sneakers, clothes, watches, like a lot of stuff. They've expanded to selling a lot of stuff, but they've been caught up and you know, they make a few mistakes here and there that they let through that people say are controversial. And today, you know, we're gonna discuss those. We're gonna show what StockX has failed on and how, you know, they still are able to say they still dead stock stuff and how they haven't gotten in trouble with anybody yet and that they're still doing this. And I kind of just want to address it too, because it is an issue that some of this stuff is getting through, but they do solve some of this stuff. I got to give them credit. And also for some of the errors that they make on checking some of this stuff, it is humans checking it. Everybody will make some mistakes, but just some of the stuff that goes through is like, it, it you should know but they still let it through so i'm just going to discuss that type of stuff in today's video so hope you all enjoy we're gonna get straight into it subscribe if you're new drop a like follow my instagrams in the description not gonna say too much more other than let's try and hit 100 likes if you guys want a part two because i definitely want to do that and yeah one's gonna be a funny one so i'm excited let's get started all right so first uh stock x fail i want to discuss this one right here so this beanie uh, a clearly fake Supreme beanie got sold to somebody. The first L I want to discuss before I, discussing giving any to StockX is the fact that this dude bought this beanie for $170. $171 is how much uh, he ended up spending on it. That's crazy. I don't, that, that's just an L in itself. You need to chill. Don't do that. But yeah, basically looking at it, you can tell all the letters are pretty spacey. They just look cut up and fake. I mean, when, it, when I say cut up, you can literally see like lines and in between some of the stitching. It's just badly, it's poorly made. And he, he just, just says, hey, you know, so it has a pictures of his case. And you know, they put like the authentication tag, like I'll put a picture up of it. Like, look at that. Like they're saying it's real, but uh, he gets pictures uh, basically right here off this rep website uh, to show that basically where this, uh, beanie that he got from was completely fake and he like proves it like here's the biggest proof right here is this tag uh and this tag then matches it up with the one on the rep website uh to show that they basically sold him some some foof stuff that was from some rep website but i do have to give StockX the upper hand on this one because they did end up refunding the dude realizing the mistake so i think they did the right thing to fix up on this situation uh but some of the other things i think are a little bit controversial so this is the best i'm gonna give them but some of the other ones are pretty bad and they definitely need to fix that. Next up, we got this one with the Air Max 97. Yeah, Air Max 97 Skepta. I think it's a fire sneaker. The dude, the dude spent 312 or yeah, 312. Someone, someone spent a lot on these and basically they came in dirty. Came in as used. So look at the picture. This is a dirty shoe right here. Here's another picture. Dirty shoe. There's marks on it. That, that one could be from shipping. I'm not really too sure. Uh, but you can tell that the sneaker looks a little bit used even on the bottom right there You can tell there's some wear like maybe these were worn once or twice, but not a lot uh, I just really can't figure it out. There's also marks right here. Here's another picture uh, And you can just tell the sneaker has marks all over it So I'm not sure whether this came from shipping or not because uh, it could have been that someone worn it But yeah, here is my main reason why I think someone would have worn this sneaker is the box The thing is is that the box is so messed up That's why I think it's like a shipping error because I don't think StockX would have handled the box this poorly or that someone would have even um, like worn it and then destroyed the box. So I'm not really sure what to say about this one, but I do think that StockX definitely should have refunded them fully and they didn't end up doing that. If I'm correct, they didn't end up refunding the dude at all. They just uh, ended up offering him some, like, this is alleged because I'm not too sure about it, but I think they ended up offering him just like the $40 off your next order thing or whatever that is, which is fine. Because I mean, I still think the sneakers are wearable, uh, but just another error, like why are you guys letting these shoes through? You like, you shouldn't let this, people receive these sneakers in like this condition, but could have been shipping, not too sure. This one's all right, but there's some other good ones. Next one I got though is with this dude. First L, this dude paid $250 for a Travis Scott tee. That's absurd. You must be a huge Travis Scott fan, but looking at this, I just want to go through the pictures first. Here's a picture of the tee. You can tell the letters have cracking all over them. When the dude received it, uh, here, I'll go to when he was discussing it. I'll flip from the first picture I showed. Uh, he basically said if he received it in this condition, it smelled like laundry detergent, which means it had probably been worn a lot. Cause I mean, look at the cracking on this. Like here's another picture. Like this tee has so much wear on it. Like I don't even know how this could have possibly been let through. Cause this was in no way a shipping order or even a, uh, factory like th th this isn't a factory error at all. This is just like this tea has been worn so many times uh, And even the tag in the stock X is messed up. It's cracked like you can here's a picture of that Like everything about this tea is just messed up. It's not right. Yeah, they said that it was uh, been a consistent manufacturing variance throughout its products So they're saying that this is just something that's been happening due to the manufacturing uh, Not actually people wearing it a lot. So that's complete cap uh, StockX sold him a basically undead, a tee that was not dead stock at all, but they just said it was dead stock. They didn't give him any kind of refund or anything. They just said, 
uh, he can relist it on StockX, but that just means, you know, he's just gonna sell it to someone else, same error. Like, I don't even know what to say here with StockX. Like, why are they selling this tea that's super used? Clearly, it smells like laundry detergent. <laughs> I can't even tell you. I don't, I don't like get why they're doing this to themselves. Like, they know this tea's in bad condition. They still sell it just to get that money. And then this dude complains and now it's exposed. So I don't know why StockX doing this, but they should definitely give the dude a refund for that tea because that's kind of ridiculous. So StockX fell right there. Next one I got is with this dude who received a fake Supreme Louis Vuitton hat. Uh, basically, he compared his hat to a fake one uh, and they matched up. So he basically got a fake Supreme Louis Vuitton hat and then he sent a message to StockX. He said, talking about their verification team and how it's questionable. Uh, and they say they can't compare it unless they have an actual one in a hand from a retailer. And he said that their verification was incorrect and then he got a fake hat. Basically, he wasn't like, they weren't able to show a proof of authenticity. He kind of proved it though by comparing it with a fake hat and showing it matched up. But StockX really didn't do anything. They said the hat was legit. But I think this whole one is kind of questionable but the thing is is that I don't even know StockX selling another fake through there I mean they're not giving no refund or nothing there I didn't I haven't heard anything else about it heard that they he questioned their retailing team uh, and how they work but yeah that's really all the stuff we have they just didn't really respond they didn't offer no refund so I don't know why they're selling this fake Louis Vuitton hat kind of whack but yeah just another one selling fakes and next up, we got this dude who received some marked up shoes again. I think he definitely should have been able to return this to StockX for some sort of refund. He didn't like how the, the condition that he was received in. Here, you basically got some marks right here. And then on the back, yeah, I think this is clear wear. This is no shipping error. This is definitely not from shipping. You can tell from this picture of the sole. This is just someone clearly has worn the sneaker once or twice. And then the box right here is completely damaged. I don't even know how the box was probably received in this condition. This one is most likely from shipping, but the actual marks on the sneaker, I think are from someone wearing it. You can kind of tell with that. That's just my opinion on it. I'm not really too sure, but it basically said he sent an email to StockX and it showed the email that uh, he received back. And he said, I'm sorry with it. Uh, receiving, you're receiving your box in this condition. And then they said that we would offer him a discount code for 40%, $40 off his next purchase, which I think is pretty good, you know, because if he's getting a cheap tee, basically you'd just get it for like $10 if there was like a $50 tee or a $40 one. Doesn't even have to pay nothing for it. So I think that's a pretty good deal for maybe a shipping error. That's how they said it was. But again, I think the sneakers were actually possibly worn. So I don't know about this one. I think these were worn sneakers. I think he should have been able to return them, but I don't think they uh, offered him a return. I think they just offered him a $40 off discount code, which I think is a pretty good offer because I think some of it was shipping errors, but some of them were also errors from being worn. So StockX possibly selling worn sneakers with this one. Uh, I'm just gonna put this one as alleged, but yeah, I don't know about this one. Just if it is selling you sneaker StockX, why are you doing this? But that's all the StockX fails I got today. Let me know if y'all want a part two and let's roll that outro. If you guys did enjoy today's video, please subscribe below and also drop a like in this video. We'll see me get a hundred likes, uh, but I'm pretty much done talking. I don't have that much to say. Also follow my Instagrams too, those are down in the description. Follow my Rissan page, follow my uh, personal page too, um, you know, both those. Uh, but yeah, I don't have too much more to say other than thank you guys for watching. I appreciate every single one of y'all. Please let me know if y'all want a part two down below because uh, I definitely loved making this video. And yeah, pretty much it. Happy Thanksgiving everybody. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace. Peace.